at Oklahoma State University, there's a lot of research being conducted, and we often think of it being conducted by the professional scientists and the faculty, but we also have a lot of students that are doing some studies of their own. Joining me today is Katie Lehman. She is an undergraduate research scholar and a senior in the Department of Horticulture. So you have a study going on. Can you tell me about it, Katie? Yes, this study is seeing if bulbs can be planted uh, above the ground without actually digging and then if covered with mulch, if they will come up as normal. Okay, so we potentially don't have to dig the daffodil bulbs into the ground. Yes, that's what this study is looking at. Okay, so what are you finding? Uh, we're finding that the daffodil bulbs that are placed right on top of the ground and covered with mulch are doing just as well as our bulbs that we dug into the ground and planted. Okay, and how many have you planted here? Um, in this uh, section there's I think about 120 but we've actually done with our volunteers the garden ambassadors we did a section of bulbs up by the highway that has 10,000 bulbs in it Wow and they used this method and covered them with mulch and it took just a few hours instead of several days so a big labor saving yes. potentially okay and so what bulbs are we looking at here these are daffodils yes um, they are. And are we just talking about daffodils or are we talking about other bulbs also? At this point, it's just daffodils. Okay, all right. Um, and now daffodils typically naturalize and, and have we decided whether that will work for these? We think that it's a definite possibility. This plot will be staying in for several years to see if uh, we can see it happening in our research. Okay. But um, Dr. Anella, who I'm working with on this project, has done this same thing at his own home, uh -huh. have daffodil bulbs and covered them with mulch. And he's had that in for a couple of years and he said that this year they've perennialized and they look even better than they did the first year. So we're expecting that they will colonize hopefully. Yes. Um, and this is a small study but it's an interesting aspect for homeowners to know about if they're looking for a, a lower maintenance way to have bulbs. And the other good thing is, you know, obviously if we don't have good soil, a lot of Oklahomans have clay soil. So that could potentially help also. Yes, because we keep them above the ground and so they have less of a potential of drowning anytime it gets really wet here. Okay, excellent. Thank you for sharing with us, Katie. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.